They say the best ideas find a way to fix a problem. For Barbara Gaines, the problem was not enough Shakespeare being performed in Chicago. In the nearly 40 years that followed, she fixed that by creating one of the world's premier Shakespeare theaters. But soon, Gaines will step down. CBS 2's Marie Saavedra spoke with the founder about what she created and what's next. Guys, we're going to work to sort of close the holes. So come in on cue, 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 cue. We'll see what happens. On a stripped down set. He's always discovering things. Deep day. into rehearsals. But very late. <laughs> is where Barbara Gaines is at her best. You gave me none. You wronged me much to say With so. actors and the words of Shakespeare oh, that transcend time. <laughs> the show is the comedy of errors. Gaines final production as artistic director of Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Well, I'm not sure what time is anymore, but I do know I'm having a good time. <laughs> that, I think that's what matters. 37 years of time, in fact, that Gaines used to indelibly impact the arts in the city of Chicago. She didn't know that back in the 80s, but she did see a lack of the bard on stage. I kept saying to the artistic director, so why aren't you doing Shakespeare? They would say, what are you kidding? I want to make money. But when you have a passion, it, it, it keeps bubbling up. You can't suppress a passion. It bubbled up to the roof of Lincoln Park's Red Lion Pub, where in 1986, she directed Henry V, holding her breath. I was afraid that there would be rain on the roof of the pub. We only could play for two or three weeks. It was a short amount of time to prove to investors that audiences here wanted Shakespeare. And it did rain, but not on their performance. I knew that Shakespeare was holding an umbrella 40 by 60 feet over the pub roof. And I knew, I knew we'd be fine. A year later, the theater had a roof over its head to stage Trollius and Cressida at the Ruth Page Center for the Arts. But the near north side would not be home for long. Incredible growth in audiences and donors drew the attention of Navy Pier. And they saw our shows and made this wonderful offer, which you could not refuse. Sure. The move to the pier in 1999 gave Chicago Shakespeare Theater the room to stretch its legs with more productions. And we have divided in three our kingdom. And gave Gaines and her team the chance to design a space built for the bard. You come here to be in your company, Master Shakespeare. This is a moment of uh, peace. And if you're lucky, uh, excitement, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's what we try for. Gaines has been successful in that mission, leading what has become a first-class cultural institution and a crown jewel for one of the greatest theater cities in the world. Then in 2019, she had a thought. I just finished directing two shows that year, and I went, I think that's all. Gaines announced she'll make room for a new artistic director of Chicago Shakespeare Theater this summer. It was a great day. It's been a great week. But before she goes, a fitting curtain call, a show where Gaines gets to laugh. We will discuss this further when I know my words. <laughs> and create with actors who've come back to celebrate her. And you're remarkably well preserved for the age you have chosen to be. A theater with impact that Gaines has made as timeless. <laughs> He has no idea. As the work of Shakespeare himself. It's a true love letter to the actors of Chicago, the designers I've worked with, because this show is about the joy of performance on stage and off, and the fun you can have uh, with a life in the theater. All I can say is keep up the good work and remember your lines. I will see you tomorrow. On Navy Pier, Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News. Don't think Gaines is hanging up her hat for good. She's currently working on a new musical. The Comedy of Errors runs through April 23rd, which is Shakespeare's birthday.